Today, being a good coach alone is really hard. I, I am alone, yes. I was alone till our gold Olympic medal. We have, of course, federation and everything else, but alone as a coach. We didn't have a physio, we didn't have a masseur, we didn't have a, the team. We did it alone. I think in, in, in big teams it's, it's not the same. All the judokas which achieved the high level results from my team, actually all of them, they live in my street. Me and my brothers, we built our own dojo because of love for judo and uh, with this small base of kids, we did uh, really big results. Olympic gold medals, world championship gold medals, European championship gold medals. So hard job, but it pays off always. To try to be different, to try to think out of the box. I think this is the main uh, two important things that I have as a coach. Many times in Israel the philosophy was let's try to be like the Japanese or like the French. And I said, if we will be like them, we have no chance to win. We need to do something different. And in the end, you know, one of my most important fights in the Olympic Games was on the bronze medal against Japan. And we found a way to win. Part of that is just because I understand that to win against them, we need to do something different than, than they are doing. Quand on est jeune coach, on est plein d'envie et tout ça, mais il y a des choses qui nous échappent. Mais en même temps, il y a cette part de folie des fois qu'on a, qu a pu euh, après. Des fois tout fonctionne et puis d'une année sur l'autre tout s'écroule. Et donc il faut aussi faire preuve de remise en question, d'humilité et toujours sur le qui vit finalement. Il faut, faut toujours euh, être en éveil. First, I made a lot of mistakes all the way. I think that uh, the mistake that it's happening a lot for, for young coaches is to find the, the line between to work hard and to recover, you know, because you always want to push your athlete to do more. And sometimes this line is the uh, 1% you can injure, then 1% you can become an uh, Olympic champion. After one or two years, I, I start to understand better that sometimes less is more. When you build some athlete, you try to, to teach all you know. So when the athlete goes inside of tatami, you, you live with this fight, you are inside. I have stress and I, I want to give them 100%. I want to give them everything with my spirit. People always uh, ask me, why do you behave like that? For me, it's very hard uh, to be relaxed and to be like without motion. I'm a little bit crazy, you know, and uh, they expect that someone normal will bring crazy results. It's not possible. You need to be crazy to bring crazy results. Adrenaline, ça, ça dégage. Moi, ça, ça me, ça me fait des poils comme ça. Entre une finale olympique ou une finale mondiale, les athlètes qui vont donner le, leur âme, le, leur cœur, le, le, leur, euh, leur mental, c'est ça qui m'anime. De vivre des moments comme ça, il n'y a pas plus fort.最近で言えばやはり日本の強さっては何かというところを考えたときに日本のこう文化的こう取り組みというところにおいてこう陶芸やっぱこう器を作ったりだとかそういうものでまあいろいろ学ばさせたりだとかまあそれは一つは日本の